emotional moment like that I never had in my life. I think I got one in high A that uh, uh, that was not the same. You know, big leagues is, is, is different. And my second walk up, I saw the ball in the stands. I was like, wow, I did it again. Like, that's amazing. That's that's not real. That's something that I know. And then I got my my dad, and my mom was here, and my wife, my daughter, and my son. And my daughter was crying, and I asked, I asked her like, why are you crying? She's like. Every time, every day, they throw you the, the Gatorade to you, the, and it's cold. I'm like, and I just started laughing. I was like, wow, I mean, that's good. Uh, they can do that every day because it's for a good reason. You just see the glow on his face. I mean, he's just, uh, he has a different attitude. There's a different aura about him. They're just, his personalities come out. He's become one of the team jokesters in the dugout. He's become one of our cheerleaders. Um, and it's, it's just really funny to see him grow, not only as a person, but as a player. He's relaxed, he's being himself. His lobby's finally showed up. And that's it. And that happens a lot with uh, guys that are skillful and they come to the big leagues and are not playing like they had in the minor leagues. More than anything, it's because they're not comfortable yet. I've been waiting for this since my, my first year in the minor league. I say, I would like to be one day a hero in the big league. I'm happy, I'm happy for everybody, for the fans, for, for everybody. And then uh, hopefully I can continue doing better and better and uh, better for the team.